Okay, I gotta show you something very, very beautiful. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Boom! We got snow! We got snow! We are going to be working on my snowmobile, the MXZ700. Hopefully, if all goes as planned, that thing is gonna be running, and we're gonna be able to take a rip today because look, we got snow, man! So, let's start the video right here. I gotta run down to the post office and see if my part came in. If it came in, we are working on the MXZ700 today, hopefully getting that running and taking a rip. So here we go, let's get the video started! <laughs> Fingers crossed that my park comes in today. Okay, so the mailman just left from the post office. So he's going to my mailbox, and hopefully, there's a package in the mailbox. So now we gotta go to my mailbox. Yeah! There he is, I see him right there. Look, there's the mailman. He's got my package. My package is in there. My package is in there. So I guess I'll just wait for him at my mailbox. All right, we're gonna park right here so we have a good look at the mailboxes so we can see if he drops a package in there. Oh, there he is. There he is. We're gonna zoom in. We're gonna zoom in and see if he puts a package in there. Uh, that's a package. That's another package. It's another package. Two packages. Two packages in the mailbox. That is spectacular. There he goes. He's leaving. He's leaving. Okay. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Packages. Packages. Boom. Check it out. That's mine. Let's see what this one is. That's mine too. Three packages. Wow, just rich with packages today. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got packages up the wazoo. All right, check it out. I'm gonna bring these inside and then I'll start filming again. And just like that, we got the packages here. I got a table, a nice table we're gonna be working on. This is the surgeon's table. We're gonna be breaking apart my uh, MXZ recoil, fixing a piece on that, and then we gotta fix a piece on the actual snowmobile. But before we break into that stuff, before we open the packages and start working on that, we gotta go say hi to Travis. He's outside working with my brother right now, but we gotta go say hi to him, because he's here. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Don't bother us, man. <laughs> what are you doing with that? That's mine. Leave that alone. <laughs> oh, I just, I just pooped my pants. Here you pooped I your just, pants? No, I just, what are we going to do about this? I can't work anymore. I just pooped my pants. Well, I figured I'd come out here and say hello to you, Travis. These people want to see you. They miss me? You yep. miss me, guys? Because I'm not, not going to be here for much longer. Everybody misses you. Look. And we have to get your predictions on. Is the MXZ going to start today? Ah! <laughs> he thinks the sun's going to start. No. Well, that's not very, you're not very hopeful. No, no, no. All right, well, I'll, I'll try and prove you wrong. How's that? All right. So now we can open these packages. I'll show you guys the goodies I got, the uh, parts to fix my sled, and we'll break into this thing. I guess I got to get your predictions too. Do you think my sled's going to start? If you're watching this video right now and you have, you're not the type of guy that skips forward like five minutes so that you can see the sled running or not, let me know in the comments. Do you think my sled is going to run? At this point in this video, do you think my sled is going to run? It ran last year, but I had problems. So you got to let me know in the comments. Do you think it's going to start? I'll tell you my prediction. My prediction is yes, it will start. We're going to go for a rip and everything will be jolly. We'll be happy and life is good. That's my prediction, but hey, I've been wrong before. Okay, so here we go. I gotta take out my pocket knife. Pocket knife that Brandon got me. So we can open this. We're gonna open this one first, I decided. I gotta probably put this camera down. Something like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. All right, so we're gonna open this bad boy up first and uh, see what's inside. Boom. Look at that, we cut two at once. Shazam! Check it out! So this is the flange that goes on the actual snowmobile. It's where the recoil attaches to the snowmobile. And uh, 
If you guys remember last year, I had a bunch of problems with the stripped bolt holes. I ended up fixing it with some bolts, some bigger bolts, and some copper wire. But I decided this year, I'm just going to replace everything. It's going to be perfect. So this is what that is. And then we're going to open the second package right now. Put this back down here. Wow. All right, so this, this red piece that you see in there, I got a bunch of other pieces with it too, but mainly on my recoil right now, this red piece, you can't really see it too well in the package, but there's a notch that goes, attaches to the motor, and it allows you to turn it over, and this piece was worn out on my recoil, so that's the piece I need to fix. So we're gonna do that probably first, and then we're gonna put the flange on the snowmobile, and hopefully all the pieces go together, and everything runs smooth and we start the snowmobile because the pull assembly is going to be perfect after this. So that's what we're doing now. Let's get into it. Ugh. We'll hop in the shop real quick because I got to grab my recoil. Here's the sled by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel, this is my 2002 MXZ 700. And uh, I rode that last year, all last year. I'm going to be riding it this year. And uh, it's a fun sled. So that's what we're working on today. And here my friends is the recoil. So right here you can see is the problem. See how it looks melted? It's all worn out. That is the problem I'm having because that piece goes right into these notches here and allows you to turn the motor over. And without that piece, with it worn like that, it's not gonna catch. So that's the problem. That's the piece we gotta fix right there. And uh, I gotta take this off the sled. So I got the recoil off, you see right here. I put this vice grips on the string so it prevents it from retracting inside it so I can uh, work on it. I think I'm gonna just have to take this bolt off and uh, the pieces should slide right out, hopefully. If you guys have ever worked on these things, chances are you've had one explode on you because there's a spring inside there and uh, when things let loose, it just whoosh, it's like party poppers everywhere. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. It may happen and uh, hopefully it's on film if it does. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and take this right off. Probably going to put the camera on the tripod. And we're going to break into this thing. Ugh. The hat needs to go on backwards because this is serious times here. No, 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 no. Don't no. even talk. Listen. No, no. What? Let me tell you something. What I do? Gummy bears and barbecue sauce together? Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm about to put the finishing touches on this thing. Look at this. Check that out. It's, it's beautiful. This is the old one right here. Smashed. Focus. See, it's all smashed on that end. But this one has a nice, beautiful end. Look at that. And Travis is going to film me putting the, the, the bolt back on the top. I can't witness this. I, I can't believe it. I have to witness it because I can't believe it. Look at this, look at this. Mm-mm-mm. Nope, that's not the right one, here we go. Wow. Look at that, huh? Look at this, check this out, the final test. It actually works, that's right. Hey, you want the little red thing to pop out to one side as you pull it? Magic. <laughs> we got it. Okay, so now we're gonna take a small lunch break. We're gonna be back with you guys, so here we go. Okay, we're back from a lunch break, which was <laughs> actually like uh, a long lunch break. four hours ago because it's nighttime right now. But we're gonna pick this video back up. I had to eat a whole pizza. Okay, yeah. you can't do it in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna pick it up right now. I actually had Travis and my brother go pick up some bolts because I didn't even have bolts for the pull assembly because they were but too now big. Now we do. Now we do. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, you wanna come join me? We're gonna put the pull assembly, we're gonna put the flange on first, and then we're gonna put the recoil on that. And that's what's going on. See, look, I got everything right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Here's the little bolts that 
Travis picked up for me because he's a good guy. Right. <laughs> and here's my my new one. Look at that. And I got, this is like, this I got is like the other Iron one. Man's uh, little. <laughs> Wait, no, this is the one that came off. Okay, so, story time <laughs> Don't here. you have like three? I have three of these. <laughs> so, that's the one on the seat that came off of mine. This is the newest one I got. Newest. In between these two was one I bought on eBay. And when I got it, there's a broken bolt in it. And all the, the three other bolt holes were stripped out. Nice. So, I called the guy up that uh, sold it to me, and he sent me this one. Which has one hole that is drilled through, but it's it was retapped, so we're good. That's the story with that. I got three of these things. Jeremy, there's one thing we need to make sure we have before we start this operation. Gummy bears. Loctite. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, exactly. For you guys out there, maybe you have the same snowmobile, I'm not sure, but I guess it's a big thing on these where the recoils just come apart. I don't know if the vibrations knock the, the screws loose or what, but uh, I have a couple screws loose, but that's it's a big problem on these things. So if you have them, or if you know a buddy does, let them know. I got three flanges too. <laughs> oh, Travis is getting fancy on us. I just wanted to make sure you wow. see a beautiful face. <laughs> yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the flange on. I'm gonna grab all of my toys that fell down. There's a bolt down here. That's oh. the nice part about this uh, man. Oh. What do you got in there? Treasure trove. What do you got? You're not oh, it's vice grip. <laughs> I knew it. Look at it's guys, got... it still has <laughs> It's got the tag on it. <laughs> That's a brand new pair. Oh my god. Remember when I was working on that one sled and I found like 18, 22 bullet shells <laughs> yeah. that were still on fire in the all around the engine bay? Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is the best one we have. And we have all new bolts. So Just dump those down the drain. So this is the first thing I'm gonna do. It's gonna happen. And you know what? This is gonna this is all gonna go perfectly. I say nothing. <laughs> don't do not do that. I'm going to get the uh, the Allen head ready ahead of time. Because I'm a thinker like that. No, because it's going to take you 20 minutes to find the right one. <laughs> look at this. Get a crawl over thing. You look like you're doing a dance for them on that pole. I see Loctite. There you are. Which that's, one do you see? That's the one we wanted. <laughs> Oh, we have a winner. We have a winner. Let me just crawl over here. <laughs> There's a certain way this goes. It goes just like that. Lined up like that. A little dab. All right. Hey, that's that's pretty good. We got two in there so far. They're not even stripped in or anything. Two out of six, and we're going going good. Yep. No strips. Plenty of Loctite. Yep. So far. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. <laughs> Taylor Swift does apparently every now and then just make a surprise appearance in our lives. <laughs> it's more of a good luck charm. Yeah, that's true. Jeremy rides, does some performance upgrades oh. to his speed machine, ready to go destroy the snow in the first reported snowstorm of Vermont 2018. <laughs> Even though it's actually 2017. Well, soon. They get the idea. Yeah. Well, we're almost done here with the flange. That's like the worst word in the world. Are you sure? Is it worse than moist? The moist flange. <laughs> mm, that's it. They're good. The flange is on. The flange is on. The flange is on. Now we're one step closer to going for a snowmobile rip. Yes! Next, we're going to heave this flange out in the woods. As far as you can. Yep. Now I need to get the recoil. Special part that you have upgraded. Whammo! Isn't that nice? Look at that, it actually works and everything. For now, until our flange breaks again. Come on, come on. Okay. Look what you made me do. 
we're actually going to put the feed the wire through before we do this so we don't have any problems. Oh. That's what we're going to do. Okay, okay. Feed it up through. And you're doing this, you're feeding the line through the feeder pipe, which keeps the rope from getting abrasively destroyed on the brake rotor, I believe, correct? Yeah, and anywhere else down there. And getting bound up and having all kinds of problems. Take it with me, Travis. Look, Look what, what you just made me do. do. Look you see what you made me do? do. <laughs> Look what you just made me do. Look, Look what, what you, you just made me, made me do. Me do. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that through. Now I can uh, now I can get my old handle. Feed that sucker right through there. It's all frayed at the end. Which makes it a little difficult. Actually makes it a lot difficult. You know what? Sometimes it calls for other tools. Oh boy. I took yeah. a step back for that one. Sometimes, Travis. Sometimes you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. There we go. Got a nice ass gun going there. Woo! Woo! -hoo. That's as smooth as jello on a slip and slide. <laughs> okay, that's good. So that's not gonna slip on us. I'm gonna put that away before I stab my knees. Um, and we should have four more bolts. So I'll put this right on there, just like that. It should line up pretty nicely. Look at that. It lines up. Look what you made me do. There it is again. Guys, make sure you go and check out Taylor Swift's newest album linked in the uh, description below because you want moves like Jeremy's hips has got down there. <laughs> Jeremy, what did you just tell me? You're not going to believe it, guys. You're not going to believe it, but every single one of them went in and I even got the one that was difficult right next to the frame. I even got it. So this baby is now ready to pull over. <laughs> it's officially ready to pull over. Give her a yank. Give her well, just I gotta a... finish going around and you know, give it some more. Okay, okay, it's okay. You gotta be torque to spec, right? Torque to spec with your little fat, dirty hands. <laughs> click. There we go. Oh yeah, I heard it. Click, click. Oh yeah, all right, yep. Yep. <laughs> As you go some more. <laughs> That's it. So now we gotta put that back on. We gotta put the exhaust all together. We gotta do that right now and then we'll be able to pull it over. Travis doesn't think it's gonna start. <laughs> You want to you want to take it back now? No, I'm gonna stick with my You're initial answer. Okay. All right. Yep. All right, we're not gonna put the springs on it just yet. <laughs> no gonna, faith, huh? No faith. We're gonna we're gonna try it. Are you ready to pull this big boy over? Yep. Now I'm really I'm actually kind of scared because if I pull it and it goes <laughs> like it did before, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's just give it a test. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Test pull. So far, so good. I can tell how nervous you are. <laughs> no, it's good. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's good. All right. One. It worked. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Five. She, she's got some compression. <laughs> Man. Wow. That's interesting. Something doesn't seem right, does it? I'm literally pulling the snowmobile. Yeah, that's not normal. We found out what the problem is. Oh man, that's... What the... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> You're spraying it all the way to the ceiling. <laughs> we, we gotta get a rag. <laughs> Where's my t-shirt? <laughs> we gotta get a rag. Where's my t-shirt? All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys could tell from the videos prior to this, but uh, Travis and I were messing around with the MXZ a little bit. This cylinder right here had a ton 
of oil in it. So what we did was we took the plugs out and I uh, took the exhaust out too. And uh, as you can see up on the ceiling, we were just shooting oil everywhere. We talked to a few people last night, a couple contacts of ours, and they said they're still not sure how it happens, but they said once you get that oil out of there, I mean, it could have been a few different issues, but once you get the oil out of there, um, it should be good once you start it up. We're gonna try and start it up now because my uh, cylinder's clean now. So we're gonna try and start it up, see what happens and uh, hopefully get it running, run it for a bit, and if it's still having that problem, we'll dive into it further. Maybe you guys know what's up. I don't know, I've never had a sled do this before, but that's what's up. Just wanted to let you guys know, and we're gonna try and start this thing. Travis is upstairs, probably gonna give the camera to him, and we'll see what happens. Travis, you wanna go see if my sled will start? Oh boy, truth. <laughs> what you watching? Top Gear. This is what our boys like at Top outside. Gear. See that? We're gonna have to use dog sleds so All our right. wheels break. <laughs> All right, let's go check to see if this skidoo will start. Smoky. <laughs> okay, I had to shut it off so I could see my tools in my seat. And I gotta finish putting the exhaust on. I can't even breathe. <laughs> hey, he's running. It's running, man. It's running. Woo! We gotta do a dance. All right, ready? Let's do a dance. That's it. Bust the move. Bust it out. Ooh, ooh. Back in the garage. Back it up. <laughs> I don't know how to shut this off. <laughs> we got alarms going off. I think we should pitch this in the snow. I don't know how to shut this thing up. Travis? No. Okay, 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 okay. I got my helmet on. Look at you. <laughs> Ready to rip. You wanna come see it? The first official rip of the snow season? <laughs> I'm gonna give this over to Travis. There you go, buddy. We're gonna go for a rip. Boom, boom, boom. Should start right up. How long do you think it's gonna take before it blows up? At least two years. Two years? 20 minutes. This is it. This is it. This is it. We're ripping. She is ripping, that's for sure. A perfectly running snowmobile. <laughs> oh man, it's so nice. All right, we're gonna go in the field a little bit. That's what we're gonna do. We'll go for a little mini rip. <laughs> yes! We'll do the first carve or boondock of the, of the year. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> There's still not quite enough snow, but hey, we gotta go for a rip if we just started this sled. Oh yeah! Hammering it! Hey, there's Travis. What's up, man? There's a lot of snow out here. There is a lot. There's not actually too much in the fields, yeah. but there's enough for go to go on a rip. Want to hold that for a second? All righty. Yes, sir. We got it running. <laughs> Woo there we 
we're gonna go over this way. I got the GoPro handheld, the selfie stick. We'll see how far we can extend this thing. Oh, there we go. There we go, that looks good. That's nice right there. All right, we're gonna go for max speed right here, max speed. Oh man, I love it, I love it. All right guys, so <laughs> this is a little sneak peek into what you guys are gonna be seeing from here on out. Hopefully a lot of this this winter. And uh, I'm gonna end this video right here because we're kind of dragging on with time. But if you guys aren't on the social media sites, I got all the links in the description. So be sure to go check those out. Man, this thing is like a banshee. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna end it right here. We'll see, kaboom!